Hey guys, I'm Jason, Jason Outdoors, and in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and field testing the Moultrie cellular camera, the XV6000. So this is Moultrie's more affordable cellular camera. Uh, it's just right around $100. I'll put a link in the description below for Amazon. Um, but this thing, it features a 16 megapixel sensor, um, trigger speed, well, they're calling it or is it? They're calling it a blazing 0 0.9 second trigger speed. I mean, today's trail cameras, that's not fast by any means. Um, so it has a 70 foot flash range, 80 foot detection range. Um, but the software, the, the, the app for your phone sounds really cool. It's got the, the smart tags. Um, so it'll be able to determine, you know, a buck or doe or person, a vehicle, uh, those sorts of things. So. Um, for me, you know, a cellular camera is really it's just a matter of they're going to send me the pictures. Um, some of my spots, um, I just I don't have very good reception. So uh, that's my biggest question. So we're going to jump into this thing and see what it can do. So in the box, you have your strap. A sticker, extended warranty, and some instructions. So this thing right off the bat, uh, it's pretty big. Uh, the only thing, it doesn't have a visible antenna, which some of them are super big and fat and tall, and this doesn't have it. The camera's bigger. I don't know, that, I mean, it makes me wonder how that's going to work, if it's going to work as well, but we're going to find out, I guess. So, I'm going to skim through the instructions really fast. Alright, so I just skimmed through the directions real quick, because this is the first time I'm even seeing this camera. Um, so, I just want to make sure I don't mess anything up. Um, so, this thing, boy, that's a heck of a latch on that thing. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, so it looks like, I know a lot of you ask for the python locks, um, you can lock the python through there and through the latch as well on the top and the bottom so you can really lock this baby in there. Um, so going inside, oh wow, okay, there's not even a LCD screen or anything in there. It's pretty basic. Um, there's a tip card in here. Use lithiums, SD cards you need. Uh, class 10, no larger than 32 gigs. Uh, that's pretty standard. Um, and just tips on how to hang the camera, but anyways. Uh, it takes 12 batteries, so we'll put some batteries in there. And on the side here, I'm going to put that in. Any SD card you get, especially ones that you have already used in a previous camera, be sure to format it. So when you turn the camera to on, you have a 60 second window to hit the format button on here. So to format it, turn it to on, and then you're going to hold the format button for five seconds. The light's going to blink yellow as it's formatting. And that's formatted, and now it's searching for signal. The yellow lights are flashing. Um, they should be green when it gets a signal because I'm in a very good spot right here at the house. So give it a minute here and see. So while that's doing that, I'm going to uh, pull up the app here. Uh, just go to your Play Store and download uh, Moultrie Mobile. Uh, you have to create an account. Uh, attach a credit card to that account so you can pay for your monthly plan um, and then as soon as you open that app it's going to ask you to activate a camera allow Moultrie mobile to access your camera for scan it yeah sure you have to give it permission and then we have to scan the barcode oh geez I didn't even get it on there and it went <laughs> device information it's got it all on there 
All right, so I just scanned the barcode. It took a minute there before I found it. And so now your step two is to pick a plan. I'm just gonna go with the cheap one. Um, first camera, unlimited. So there's like five versions, uh, plans that you can pick. Uh, the Pro Series is uh, ideal if you have three or more cameras hooked up to this. Um, but we're gonna go all the way down to just monitor for paid monthly for five bucks a month. If you pay up front for the whole year, it's only three bucks a month. So that's uh, actually not a bad price, but you only get a hundred pictures. Uh, so your standard is gonna be 10 bucks a month for a thousand pictures, or if you pay it up front, it'll be $9. Okay, so I just put all my credit card information in and uh, attached it to my account. Uh, so for the charge for today, it comes out to $5.29 uh, for the cheapest month by month plan. Uh, I'm gonna hit purchase. and it is activating the device and it was successful hit okay all right so i just put this on a tree and uh the strap provided is pretty decent again you have your python locks here which is nice this big latch you can lock it in from the top and the bottom um and we're going to turn this on Okay, that process takes a little bit, but you can see all lights are green, so I should be good to go. We'll close that up and just start walking back and forth. So again, you, you do all your settings from your app on your phone, which I don't mind at all. Uh, it just would be nice to have an LCD screen to just at least see the pictures you're getting, uh, just so I know what it's looking at. Um, but we're just going to walk back and forth here. I, I have it set on medium sensitivity to take one photo and to send it just about every time it detects movement so uh, i don't know we'll just see what happens here so i just kind of noticed something as i was walking back and forth in, in front of this the camera looks like it's pointing up in the air and uh after looking at it this slot for the python lock kind of sticks out here in the middle which is preventing it as you can see it looks like it's it's on an angle it's sitting on an angle this tree is nice and straight but the camera is kind of pointing upward. Um, and that's probably because this is a kind of a small tree and these, you know, sticking out like this one aren't really touching against the tree. So uh, this is probably gonna have to go on a bigger tree or again, if you just use something, uh, a ball head mount or uh, like I make these little uh, screw in things that just kind of angle the camera downwards. Uh, I think those work great. I, I love them much better than straps. But uh, I'm gonna have to put this on a bigger tree, I think, to get this to work. All right, so I just got this on a much bigger tree and I feel like it's still doing the same thing. Um, that's kind of weird. So as you can see, it's on an angle facing upwards. If you look at this straight line right here. Back here, where that Python lock goes in, pushes at the bottom out away from the, from the tree but the top ones don't really sit on the tree. The tree always seems to go right in between the two. I don't know, it's probably really hard to show that. You know, I don't know if you can even tell that that's angled upwards, but all right. So uh, I will be using some sort of different mount for this, but I do have to say for as big as that camera is, uh, it looks pretty good on that tree. Uh, meaning, you know, just it blends in pretty well, I think. So, all right, I just want to send photos. That's number one. I still haven't gotten any yet. And I left it on that whole time I was moving it. And I still haven't gotten any pictures. But yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but that thing looks like it's pointing way up in the sky almost. I mean, that's really angled up there. So I'm gonna move it lower on the tree. <laughs> Actually, I just wanted to send me a picture first. So I'm gonna refresh the app. And now we got them coming in. So, that's when I first started walking in. You see how it's like looking up in the sky and the trees? <laughs> and that's when I was moving it. So I didn't get any alerts on my phone. Um, 
that I had any pictures, I actually had to go in and, uh, you know, manually refresh it for that to download those pictures. Um, let's just keep trying it here. All right, I got another one. A blank photo. Must have been when I was... I don't know. Okay, so because I've been walking back and forth here so much, I'm kind of losing track of literally what I'm doing. Um, I've stood off to the side here for a while now. I'm going to walk by it just kind of giving a thumbs up. And I'm going to see how long it takes me to get that picture. All right, so it's been over five minutes now. I still have not got alerted that I have any pictures yet. And I'm just kind of losing my patience. Um, just because I'm trying to figure this out. So I'm going to open the app here and just at least see if it got me walking by with my thumbs up. There it is. So, as you can see, with that blazing fast, almost one second shutter speed, I'm almost all the way through that picture, um, walking relatively slow. Uh, I came back through and it got me right in the middle. So, it did send them, and it just hasn't, uh, it just hasn't alerted me yet, so... Uh, I'll let this sit out overnight, maybe, you know, get lucky enough to catch a deer walk by and see if I have any notifications in the morning. But, uh, but as of right now, it's just not alerting me that it's sending me. I actually have to go in there and refresh it or just open the app. And uh, it's the only way I'm getting them at the moment. But uh, I'll keep trying. I'm just going to jog past it and see if it catches me that way. All right, so it looks like I got the photo when I ran through it and it just got me on the edge of the frame and i'm really blurry so that uh blazing fast trigger speed they talk about is not all that blazing fast all right so this time i walked by it i basically paused in front of the camera holding up number five just in reference to which time i walked by um and i counted how long it took for it to send the photo with me sitting there refreshing it constantly um because it still hasn't alerted me on my phone yet um and it took exactly 43 seconds from the time i walked in front of the camera till it showed up on my phone all right so the true test for me on this camera uh is going to be in a low reception area um so i'm at one of my spots and uh so on my phone i do have the 4g symbol um and i have one bar We'll see if the uh, camera is still capable of sending me pictures with one bar. So it's connected to the server. The yellow light is on for the signal. So that means, uh, so, you know, the signal is low. Um, they do recommend you move it to another spot when that's green. Uh, I just don't have too many of those spots. So uh, I'm hoping that it can send me photos from right here. All right, so I just walked through a couple times. Um, it is sending me the photos. Um, the nice thing that I, I just discovered, when you set it into burst mode, it'll shoot to three photos. It sends you all three photos. Um, the last one uh, that I reviewed uh, only ever sent you the second picture which I just thought was silly, but, uh, so it sends you all three photos. Um, however, um, just walking very slowly, it's going to be really hard to see this. Um, they're just so blurry and like the second two photos, there's nothing in them because I'm already through the picture. There it got me twice, but I was going really slow. It got me all three times. And then I just came back the other way. Um, I'll see if I can post a high res like that photo there. I mean, you can't even really identify my face on that picture. It's just so blurry. Now that one's fine, but I wasn't moving. All right. So it did in fact, uh, send me pictures, uh, when the signal was in the yellow, um, I had one bar on my phone. So I'm going to venture to say, as long as you have, you know, 4g, one bar on your cell phone that you should not have a problem you know connecting with this camera being that it doesn't have a visual antenna um the only thing is i'm just not really thrilled with the uh the quality of the photos like 
there's a lot of uh, motion blur to them so something's got to be moving pretty slow my final thoughts on the xv6000 by moultrie the cellular camera uh, you know at first i was pretty nervous about the uh, image quality um, but both times that I did that, it was just before dark. Um, I have moved it. It's actually currently there right now over a power line. And, you know, it's nice and open and bright. And it's doing much better in that situation. So if you're going to set this over a food plot or something, a lot of light, um, it's doing okay. The trigger sensitivity seems to be pretty good. I had a deer uh, way in the back. Um, it's just kind of creeping through the grass. And it, it, it captured it at a pretty good distance. Uh, even the nighttime photos, um, they're good. Having said that, the, it is a low glow LED, so you can see them glowing in the dark. I know that a turn off for some of you, but uh, but overall, um, it's doing pretty good. I still cannot get push notifications to my phone. Um, I've read up on it. There's a few things they recommend doing, and that is make sure you have the right app, the up-to-date app or you go into your phone, into your settings, into your app permission to allow notifications from that app, which I've done all that and I still cannot get to push notifications to my phone. So I, you know, I wake up, I gotta just kind of refresh it uh, to get the photos. Um, I just haven't been able to figure out what's going on there. I also seem to be getting a lot of false triggers, um, even in an open area. Um, I got, you know, there's some brush back in there, but it's just throughout the day, I got a lot of false triggers. And the other thing I have a tough time with um, is just the sheer size of this thing. Uh, it's big. I mean, it's like a brick with all those batteries, 12 batteries, and uh, it's long. It's just kind of hard uh, to hide it. I mean, it, it blends in nicely with the camo, but the thing is just big. And the way it angles on the tree the way it sits on the tree it's kind of pointing upwards uh, it's like on a slant because the bottom comes out uh, if you noticed in that one shot you could see the gap at the bottom as opposed to the top of that so it angles upward um, so you have to either put it really low on the tree if you're going to use the strap or you're going to have to use uh, a, you know a third party you know ball head or something that you can angle it downwards uh, especially if you like to put them up high it does lock up nicely. You know, there's a top and bottom Python locks that go through the latch, so you know people can't take your SD card or anything out of there. Um, so it locks up nicely. Um, the daytime pictures are good. The whole initial setup was really easy uh, to register the camera and get that activated. Um, the app I think is really good. Uh, one thing I do love is that you can request a high res image, and it's kind of part of the plan. You don't have to pay extra for that or anything. Um, so when you hit high res, it will send you the high res the next time the camera takes a photo. So if you want that picture right away, we well, have, have to wait until uh, the camera was tripped again. But that's pretty much it. I mean, other than the battery life, which I, I have no idea. Um, I've only had it out for about three or four days now. And, um, you know, that's always a big question as well. But I will put updates in the description if anything, any situation comes or I have problems or batteries go dead too soon, I will update that uh, down below. So uh, check back for that. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'll, I'll do the best I can to answer it. Um, until then, I am still gonna try to figure out why I'm not getting the push notifications uh, maybe if one of you have it and know what I'm doing wrong, I, I just, uh, everything is suggested, I looked and I've said it that way and I just can't get it to work. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Um, I also gave, a friend of mine has uh, an iPhone and we're sharing the same account. He's not getting the alerts either. I have an Android. So I just, I have no idea what, what's going on there. But uh, again, I hope this helps. If you guys are looking for a cellular camera, this is uh, their, their cheaper model. Um, you know, there's a few that hit the market this year and, and these have been pretty good overall. So uh, I appreciate you guys watching. If you, if you find this at all helpful, you could please, you know, give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks guys.